I just spent my money and 24 hours trying to build the exact same app using Replit, Cursor, and Firebase. But instead of me using my coding skills, I'm gonna do this without writing a single line of code. By the end of this video, you'll know if you can actually create apps without knowing how to code. But before I show you what happened, let me show you exactly what we're trying to build. So this is Benzinga Pro. Now Benzinga Pro is a pretty advanced news and stock scanner that some traders and investors use to keep up to date with the latest market moving news. It has several features. Obviously it has a scanner and it also has the main thing that we're gonna try to build, which is the news feed. So for this challenge, what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to replicate this news feed. So now if we have to kind of think through what's involved with making the news feed. We're gonna need access to the news articles themselves, maybe even a way to kind of rate sentiment. We're gonna to need to display it in chronological order and we're gonna need it to be streaming. It's gonna to have to continuously update as new news articles are released. So while it might seem a little bit simple, there's a lot of moving parts that I think will make this challenge really interesting. Now in the new world of AI, we're starting to hear a lot about this vibe coding. We're basically told that we can take any simple prompt and make a full featured app. So now to test this, we're gonna to use this prompt here. I'm gonna give this to Replit, Cursor, and Firebase as a starting point, and then we're gonna to try to iterate from there to see if we can get this app to be functional. So both Replit and Firebase remove the need of copying and pasting, and the apps become more aware of the context of your project. Now Cursor, on the other hand, it's a little bit different. It takes the traditional integrated development environment and fuses it with AI agents. So there's a few things to note with Firebase. Firebase always wants you to approve the changes before they're implemented. It's not a big deal, it's actually a good practice, but for this challenge, I wanted to move as quickly as possible. So as you can see, I was able to get a half decent design, but problems started to happen when we needed to implement one feature. So with these news feeds, if you think about it, we're continuously adding new articles to our feed, but we don't wanna load every single article because then that would slow down the response time. Instead, we probably wanna load the latest 50, and then as we scroll down, we'd wanna start seeing some of the older and older articles. So I wanted to add a feature called an infinite scroll. This would allow us to only load the data that we need when we need it. So the design with Firebase looked okay, but problems started to happen once I tried to implement the infinite scroll. Now things got so bad that the entire system crashed. I tried to reset it and I couldn't even get the project to work. So I'll be honest, I just gave up. I said, this is ridiculous. I can't even get it to work. If somebody doesn't know how to code, I don't know how they'd be able to recover this. Right now, Firebase looks like it requires a lot of technical knowledge and it's not working the way that I would expect. I call this a complete failure. We're not off to a good start. And honestly, right now, it's not looking good. I don't know how anybody without any coding experience could actually use this, but Instead of just canceling this entire challenge, I decided let's give Replit a chance. So now with Replit, as you can see, the initial design, honestly, I'm pretty impressed. It included some sidebars and basically built out the entire app. Now I wasn't able to do this on the first go. It did take some prompting because not only did I give it a pretty decent prompt, I also gave it the example of the app that we're trying to build. So now it looks good, but we still have a problem. The newsfeed doesn't work. So I'm gonna give it a prompt to try to fix the news. Now, if you remember, Replit uses a checkpoint system. They use it both in their pricing and they use it as a way for you to roll back some of the changes, which is actually really good. If you ever break your app, you can go back to when the app last was working. Another thing that I actually really liked about Replit is it installs all the dependencies automatically. It'll even set up all of the database. And if it's making errors along the way, it does its best to try to fix them. So right now, Replit is the closest to giving you something that's kind of functional right from the get-go. But there still is an issue and it's always coming down to debugging. Even though it can try to fix the bugs along the way, I still found that it wasn't able to fix some of the more complex tasks. So as you can see, it struggled to fix the issue with our main feature, which is the news feed. It's great that it looks great, but we still need it to work. 
So I tried multiple prompts. The app also crashed. And on several occasions, it said it fixed the error. It even was proactive and took screenshots all by itself to try to fix the error, but it still wasn't fixed. Here's the thing. I knew what caused the error, but I tried my best to stick to the challenge. The issue happened when we tried to implement the infinite scroll. It's the same thing that Firebase completely couldn't do. This was when the app broke. It also tried to fix errors that I didn't ask for, which I'll be honest, is a problem. And the reason it's a problem is when you have an issue or an error in your application or your website, it's best to only change one variable at a time so you can figure out what the cause was. Because it kept changing different things, that introduces a lot of potential variables that could be causing our problem. So I was about to give up and then I decided I'm just going to tell it exactly what the problem is and see if it's going to be able to fix it. After I did that, I could actually get something that's working. But even though I could see the feeds, it was still stuck to the same 50 number. So the infinite scroll feature wasn't working, but at least it was pulling the data feeds. So right now we have Firebase, complete failure. We have Replit and it was able to make something semi-functional, but it still required some technical knowledge. Next we have Cursor. And right now I really don't know what to expect with Cursor. So Cursor, again, what's really great is it's not just an IDE that can help you with some smart code complete. It also has an AI agent built in that can completely do a project from simple prompts. So when working with Cursor, there's a few things you have to do. You might have to install some packages. Cursor will try to install the packages for you, but if it can't, it'll give you the specific instructions that you're going to need in order to install those packages. Now, because this is installed on your local computer, you're actually going to have to host your application locally. But again, Cursor will help you with this. So now, when I launch the application, it looks okay. It's functional. It's not as nice as Replit, but it's functional. I also gave it the exact same examples that I gave Replit and the same ones that I gave Firebase, but it came up with something that, again, it's functional. It's To me, it's not as nice as the Replit app. So after working through some of the issues, I was actually able to get something that was running. And surprisingly, this application, the infinite scroll actually works. There still was a few glitches, like the date was wrong, but there were easy fixes for that. I just had to add an offset for the date. So I just said, can you subtract so many hours from the dates, from the timestamp for each of the news feeds? And that was pretty simple, but Curse was actually able to give us an application that worked. So how do they compare? Well, Cursor obviously is the leader. It was able to give us an application that worked. It didn't look as impressive as Replit, but it worked. Replit had the second most functional app. We were able to get the news feeds to work, but the infinite scroll didn't work. I'm sure if I kept playing with it, I would eventually work, but I had already used 80 out of my 100 credits. So for me to get something to work, it would have definitely cost me significantly more than using Cursor. And last is Firebase. I gave it one last try. I was at least able to get it functional. It was still glitchy. It took long to load. And I had to use my technical skills to get something to work. So I believe Cursor and Replit are extremely impressive. They're only going to get better. And it's kind of scary to think about it. But unless you understand the core principles of development, it's going to be very difficult to have a full featured secure app done in either of these programs. With that said, what's really nice is you can at least get something that looks half decent and kind of works so you can test your idea to see if it has any legs. So if you have no coding or tech experience, what can you do to start leveraging AI? Well, that's the good thing. That's what this channel is about. And if you'd like to keep learning, you can click right here.